Sophia and today I'm talking to an astronaut, Dan Tarney. Hello Dan, my name is Sophia and I'm seven. You're seven years old? Is that right? Yes, I'm in year two. Well, nearly year three because it's nearly the summer holidays. Your summer holidays, right. Dan, I've never me met an astronaut before and I've got well. three questions for you. Well, no, four questions. <laughs> It's a lucky day today because it's uh, buy three, get one free today, so. I have some questions about the moon, if that's All right, okay. let's shoot, see if I can answer them. How long does it take to get to the moon? To the moon's a great question. So when we used to send people to the moon, uh, it would take about three days to get to the moon. You'd first launch and you'd circle the Earth, okay? that's the, that, that, that took a lot of energy, and then they would do a little... They would burn their uh, rocket again, and then that would send them out towards the moon. And then once you got to the moon, you had to burn the engine again to slow down so that you would uh, orbit the moon. But it took three days to get to the moon. How high can you jump on the moon? Hmm, that's a very good question. Okay, let's see. So uh, if you could jump like you jump on Earth, meaning uh, you didn't have to wear a big bulky spacesuit, um, there is... The gravity on the moon is one sixth of the gravity on Earth. So mm, I'm doing the math. I don't think that means you can jump six times as high, but you could jump a lot higher. So uh, you could probably jump maybe a meter, I don't know, or you're in feet, four feet, five feet maybe. Um, but they have to wear big, bulky spacesuits because there's no air. And so the bulky spacesuits make it hard to move around and to jump. So they, they hop a little bit, but they can't really jump like you would here on Earth. What does it feel like walking on the moon? Well, you know what? I really don't know because um, even though I'm an astronaut, the astronauts that have gone to the moon and walked on the moon, uh, we haven't done that in 40 years, over 40 years. And so uh, when, I was, when I got to flying space, I went to a thing called the space station, and that's just floating around the Earth. So I don't know what it's like to walk on the moon, but I'll bet it was awesome. Have you walked in space? I have done spacewalks, yeah. What's that like? Well, you know what? We, we call it spacewalking, but when we walk in space, we don't use our legs, really. In fact, the legs kind of get in your way. And so since we're, everything's floating, you have to hold on with your hands. And when you move around, you've got to move with your hands. And so we call it spacewalking, but it's really not walking. It's space gripping and moving around with your, with your hands. What did you like best about being in space? Uh... Really, one of the real pleasures of, of being uh, in space, and especially on the space station, is uh, looking out the window and uh, looking at the beautiful Earth uh, roll below you. We're going, we're about 250 miles above the Earth. We're going 17 and a half thousand miles an hour. Uh, it's a constant movie of the beauty of Earth rolling under you. And uh, I really enjoyed going to the window and looking for uh, things that were very familiar to me, like my hometown or uh, the, my, where my wife grew up or where I have friends, uh, and recognizing uh, the little lakes that I've been to and the rivers and the mountains and the airports. You can see airports from space. Uh, but also flying over places of the Earth that I've never been to. The middle of Australia is incredibly beautiful. Uh, the middle of Africa is incredibly beautiful. The textures and the colors are just stunning. Uh, I, I'll never forget uh, looking out the window and, and enjoying the beautiful Earth. Now you're supporting Lunar Mission 1. Would you like to go to the moon if you had the chance? Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, the ability, the, the flying in space is fantastic, but having a destination like the moon makes it all that much more uh, meaningful, I would say. Uh, you know, we're doing great uh, science on the space station, but we are trying to develop techniques and uh, 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 trying to understand characteristics of people and machines so that we can go further. So going further is really the whole point. And going back to the moon and exploring the moon again, uh, being able to walk around, uh, looking back at our home planet would be just fantastic. And so um, I think all astronauts uh, want to go uh, to the moon and further. Well, that's about 10 questions now. Thank you, Dan. That, so that was my first interview with an astronaut.
I hope you liked it. I did, so now I get my Lunar Mission Mom badge. <laughs>